8 stars we loved from our childhood to our jerks IRL and 7 sweethearts. There are many factors who may have helped define large portions of your childhood. Everyone has at least one movie or television show that we're sure you watched enough times to drive your parents insane. But wouldn't it be sad if some of those actors that you grew up idolizing turn out to be jerks? You cheer for Steve Austin in the ring, but would you be cheering for him if you knew he also brought the fight home to his wife? Paul Rubin was idolized by millions of children, but his rest for possessing material of minors engaging in sexual acts might forever alter your perception of him. And while you may have loved some of our actresses like Amanda Bynes and Lindsay Lohan, our entries make it very clear just how low their rock bottom got. Thankfully before you get too sad, we do have happy news that not every start of your childhood is a jerk. Many of them are outstanding people that along with aging well hello Hillary does, have also worked hard to help make the world a better place. These are 8 stars from your childhood to our jerks and 7 to our sweethearts. 1. Jerk, Paul Rubens. Paul Rubens, better known by the stage name Pee Wee Herman, was a large part of people's childhood in the 80s with a variety of projects. But Herman's career started taking a downward turn after he was arrested in 1991 for engaging in some self-loving while in an adult theater. Not the best look, but not as bad as the police also discovering child theaters are not raffy at the actor's home in 2002. Rubens defended himself saying that he bought the asterisk carton in such large quantities at times, that he could not have known what was all unfair. As well as that he considered much of what was found to be of artistic not sexual value. Rubens' career could potentially be on an upward swing however after his latest movie Kiwi's Big Holiday aired on Netflix in 2016. 2. Sweetheart, Carrie Fisher we're sure we aren't the only ones who got teary-eyed when we saw Carrie Fisher on our screen again with the recent trailer for Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Fisher gave so much to the world before tragically passing away in 2016. One of the most influential aspects of her career was the work she did to raise awareness for those suffering from bipolar, something she was also afflicted with. Fisher did have a past that included some addictions but she shared her past experiences and in doing so also helped inspire others to make the change they needed in their life. 3. Jerk, Sheila the Youth Sheila the Youth made a name for himself on the series Even Stevens and managed to keep a relatively respectable career as an adult with several great pictures to his name. Though the word respectable might get rough when you think more about who La the Youth is as a person, especially when you combine his arrests for things like public intoxication with stories from co-stars like Missing in Action Wasikiska that he may not be the easiest to work with. The two worked together on Wallace and in past interviews, Missing in Action described the youth as being verbally abusive on the set as well as constantly being inebriated though to be fair, the movie was about bootlegging. For Sweetheart, Emma Watson we have to really give a lot of credit to Emma Watson for how she has grown up under the public spotlight. Sure, all the members of the Harry Potter franchise got pounded, but nobody got quite as much attention as Watson. Especially when you consider a lot of the attention may have been from gentlemen overly sexualizing her. Even when Watson is faced with a scandal, like having photos of her leaked in her birthday suit, she's handled it with grace and class. Watson has also dedicated her efforts to helping organizations that help make the world a better place. With no upcoming films, Watson may be looking to take a break from Hollywood as of now, but she has definitely conquered it so far. 5. Jerk, Steve Austin Steve Austin is one of the most recognizable and profitable wrestlers to ever step foot in the WWE. But perhaps he wouldn't have been so profitable for the company if it had become open public knowledge that he allegedly beat his wife and on-screen talent Deborah on several different occasions. At the very least, Austin was arrested for severely beating her in 2002, but did not face any jail time for the incident. When talking about the incident, 
Deborah also admitted that the WWE would conceal her bruises to suppress suspicion. You need to take some solace that if an incident like this happened in 2017 that the WWE would hopefully be willing to do the right thing and side with the person being abused. 6. Sweetheart, Hillary does. There are some examples of celebrities on our list who did not age gracefully under the public spotlight. That isn't the case for Hillary Duff who now at the age of 30 is stronger both mentally and in her career than ever before. Duff's managed to inspire many women for how she carries herself. This includes her losing the baby weight following the birth of her son Luca in a healthy manner and not rushing the process, something many women in Hollywood could be considered guilty of. Duff may also post some scandalous images, but they're often combined with messages of positivity and that's something we can definitely get behind. 7. Jerk. Amanda Bynes. The Amanda Show. She'd probably come off in a pretty good light. But one of the most selfish things someone can do is drink and drive. Banda that Bynes is guilty. On top of that, Bynes also got in an incident where she engaged in a hit and run and as someone who has been a victim of that very thing, trust me when I say it really really sucks. Bynes wants to return to Hollywood, but let's hope she does with a much more mature attitude than the one she left with. Especially because her past decisions could have very easily ended up with her life ending prematurely or taking the life of someone else.